Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Now, today's cigar technically is a re-review because it's one of those things that you can't really decide. Now, we're reviewing the Don Pepin Garcia 20th Anniversary Limited Edition 2023. There we go. And this cigar... Is 40 bucks a cigar, right? Six by ha uh, six and a half by 52 comes with a really, really sick, sick looking box, okay? But it comes in a box of 20. So the box is $800. For $800, that's one of those price ranges you gotta decide whether or not it's really worth that much money, right? And it's one of those things that I still have not decided to buy a box yet. So Eric and I both uh, smoked one of these uh, in when we were in Miami. And we, when we did that, we still couldn't decide whether or not to buy it. We kind of wanted to split the box, but in the end, we kind of didn't take the trigger. It's kind of weird because I took a trigger on a late hour for $800, but I couldn't take a trigger on this one. So, I'm going to smoke it again because Eric is actually recording this today as well. Not a Samuel cast, not a you know, double review, but he's doing it. I don't know when he's going to release it. That reminds me to do this again so that next week when I go over to um, Texas, if I see it, I can decide whether or not I want to pull the trigger and buy one. So, $40. This is a Nicaraguan uh, Habano 2000 wrapper over a Nicaraguan binder and a Nicaraguan filler. Okay. <sighs> well, let's talk about the cigar itself. Very leathery, chocolatey color. And at least they print something on this band, on this ribbon thing. So it kind of looks pretty good. The band... The size of this band is big enough to make me happy. So design, decoration, it's got it. It's got it. Blue color, very, very sexy. And like I said, like the, the, the container itself, it's got push button open. It's got four legs, but plastic, gold plated plastic. And, and, and lacquered blue box. It's, it's, it's a good package. It really gets me. Like, I like it. But eight hundred dollars, plus tax. So let's really look at through this thing. Let me get this down. A cut and light. And today the drink of choice is Korean iced coffee, black. Okay. Smell just like earth, like dirt, and a little bit of spiciness. Like my nose kind of feel like spicy. Don't really want to ruin the cap. Give a little kiss. Clean cut. Oh my god, a draw. All right. That's a pretty good draw. I think I've, I've got to be able to enjoy this a lot more than I thought I would. <clears throat> Coffee. Leather. And 
and chocolate. <clears throat> Coffee, leather, and chocolate. Light it up. Espresso no, right away. Espresso no. Yeah, coffee, espresso, leather, pepper, chili pepper. And a little bit of hay. Oh, the pepper strong. Pepper strong. Intense. Intense pepper. A little bit like corn too, like a corn taste to it. A little bit bitterness and like, a, I don't know how to describe it, tanginess, like a spice mixture, tanginess. There's a lot of like um, a little bit of that espresso bitterness and um, but it comes with the, some coffee sweetness as well. So a lot of things going on. Let me smoke through one third and we'll talk about the flavor. Because based on what I remember, this cigar has good transitions. We just had to go with that transition. Be right back. All right. First third. That wasn't a slow motion. That is just regular speed. Smoke output is freaking great. It's actually burning perfectly. I have not knock the ash off or else this will have good ash right now. Um, burn line, very, very good. Draw, absolutely awesome. Very spicy. Uh, I, originally, I said it was like chili pepper. Now it kind of get into like a cayenne pepper, a little bit of spiciness. Uh, it's got a little bit tanginess, almost like you're eating some sort of like preserved vegetable, like Korean kimchi or something, but not like a really, really old one. That's really uh, flavorful with like garlic and stuff like that. It doesn't have that. It just have the spiciness and that little bit tanginess that kind of goes together that makes you feel like you're eating one of those like preserved spicy stuff, but not actual kimchi. I'm just using it as an example because it also Aside from a little bit of like graham cracker flavor uh, and a little bit of mm, that mixed spice that makes you feel like you're eating something like, you know, and also could be because my dinner, but I didn't eat kimchi for dinner. So if I taste kimchi, it must be something, right? Must be something. There is still uh, a lot of coffee flavor and the cigar is medium plus to full right now. Medium plus to full. I think it's very close to full. Very, very close. But it's got a lot of body. It's got a lot of flavor. So it's not like you feel like, meh. Yeah. But at the same time, in the beginning, I say I know, Eric is doing the same review. So we talk. This is going to be a double review. So make sure to go look at his also to find out what he's tasting. Because apparently, his cigar is burning differently than my cigar is burning right now. And obviously, different humidity and stuff like that. It's going to change the flavor a little bit. See what you think, okay? Go make sure to watch um, Smoke White If You Have One's video on this particular cigar. Just, uh, and the difference between the double review and regular review is that we'll be reviewing this, uh, this same cigar released the same day so that you can go watch it and compare really quickly. So you can decide whether or not you buy it. Because maybe after this, I'll go end up buying it. I don't know. I don't know. But right now, the cigar is good. I'm gonna keep smoking it for another one third. I think it's about to hit that transition point. 
We'll see what it gives me this time. It is different than what I remember smoking it last time. But then again, last time when I smoked it, it is a tighter draw. It is definitely slightly different. The pepper didn't work out much. It wasn't this crazy. It was actually relatively boring when I smoked it the first time, the first third. You know, right away I was like, ah, I don't think I should buy a box on that time when I smoked it. So now that I'm back here with different humidity, different day, different drink, I might have a second thought on that. So smoke the second third. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's a bunch of pop. All right, second third. Here we go. Flavor became a more, even more tangy, more musty, more espresso sourness cigar, which is great. It, 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 it actually is more flavorful. Pepper went down just a little bit, not a lot. Like it was, if it was 10 right now, it's probably seven and a half. Okay, so one third of that kind of disappeared, but it became a very good cigar. But I think now I can safely say the cigar is full strength. It, it can really feel it. I, I got to slow down a little bit because I really feel it. Uh, burns great. Smoke output is amazing. Smoke output is amazing. So this thing is definitely a cigar to smoke if you want to look like a badass and record some slow motion video because I'm doing it without slow motion and I feel like a badass even though I'm not. But it makes it makes me feel like. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of smoke. Quite, and that's a small puff because I try not to do big puff on these kind of strong cigars. It's really good. Really good cigar. Um, it goes well with coffee. It does go well with coffee right now, especially that little bit of tanginess, a little bit of sourness, mustiness. It really go well with a, a cold brew or something that with a little bit of citrusiness, not citrusiness, uh, acidity to whatever you're drinking. So right now, uh, coffee is great. It makes me feel like someone is like like a little kid getting an iPad for the very first time. It's like ah, but it's at the same time you're like oh this is so nice, but I'm afraid to drop it because this thing is so expensive. That kind of thing. Now usually forty dollars a cigar wouldn't be expensive to me, but it feels that way. Now when I feel that way. It's probably because it's stacked out, it's nicely presented, it's put together, and you feel like you're getting something of substance, it's of quality, of of something. So it, it is up there. Now let's look at the band. I love the band. It's colorful, but yet, you know, it's got a thing to it. It is very nicely looking band. I love this band. I think this thing, this band is better than the 10th anniversary band. It is beautiful it's beautiful band it's got nice you know gold blue and then a little bit of that orange red really pop you know because like the orange band kind of fades out to that orange metallic copper color it really fits it really fits it get the it get the message through you know it tells you it's handmade it's nicaraguan limited edition 20 years anniversary and they even tell you which 20 year that is 2003 to 2023 so it's got all that stuff, the DP logo, the My Father cigar, everything is on this one band and it's large enough to look like a badass crest. Yep, I, this, I, this is how you make a band for limited edition stuff. Okay, every brand should take notes. This is how you make a limited edition band. How you done it? Okay, this is how you do it. So, ah, uh -huh. yes, I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, um, second third, rimmed up strength, uh, a little bit transition to a more sour, musty kind of feel taste to it. Tastes great. Now I'm going to the last third. I'm gonna slow down a little bit because you start to catch you. You start to go, oh, I'm strong. I'm mm, yeah. Mm. But <clears throat> it's got a lot to offer, right? A lot to offer. It's like you see this knight with armor and everything. It says, I am big, I am bold, I am strong. 
Even though what's inside is probably like a little Asian. <laughs> you know, take off the helmet. Hey, what happened? Put it back on. So, yeah, let me uh, smoke the next stir and then we'll come back with some summaries. Ah! All right. Last stir. Good cigar. I like it, but is it $40? Maybe not. Maybe $35. Maybe even at $32 range because the strength. All right, there is a full strain. You got to slow down to smoke it. It's got everything else that I like about it, but the strength I don't like. I, I really don't like a full strength cigar. And this one is full strength. You got to feel it. And you feel it after, like, you know, the second, third. It's such a ramp up. It's such a go, like, hey, I'm here. You know, so I hope you have enough caffeine because they're about to pass out. That kind of thing. So it's a good cigar and it, it is quite long. It, uh, it took a while to smoke. Started at like nine something, now it's 11 something, so it took a while to smoke. But is it a good cigar? Yes. Uh, is it close to what it's asking for? Yes. Yes. $35. I, uh, not 40 because I really don't feel like it's perfect the way it's supposed to be for 40 But I feel like it's 35 35 So what does that mean? I don't know. Would I buy it? Maybe. Would I go buy it or to smoke it in the lounge? I will. I will. In fact, we did. <laughs> so it's a good cigar. I recommend it. Uh, I just don't think that anybody should spend the $800 to buy an entire box unless it really is a collector. You want that box. You re willing to spend that kind of money for it. Other than that, it's a good regular cigar. If you got to smoke two hours of it and have uh, relax and slow down to smoke it, you'll enjoy it. But for to collect, it was still tough. Like, I don't know if I want to buy a box. I like the cigar, but still. Usually, 800 bucks wouldn't be that much a struggle. But for this one, it's kind of like a struggle. It's like, it's not really worth it, worth it, but it's kind of good. I think about it. If I, if I got the box, I'll come back and review the box. Because the box is beautiful. So, it is what it is. So, that's it for the review today. If you like it, like, comment, subscribe, um, share, and all that stuff. And let me know. What do you think about the box? You know, so that maybe you know, that will help me to go buy the box or maybe that will help me not to buy the box. It is what it is. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.